Hulk, pick it up, definitely. Uh, moving on, talking about the latest issue of Brave and the Bold. Um, this series is really enjoyable, actually. Uh, this definitely takes some of my favorite characters, this issue. Uh, the Flash and the Doom Patrol. The Silver Age Doom Patrol. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It, this was this was like my favorite DC book. Um, short of, uh, I really liked Yael Simone's first Wonder Woman. Uh, but this was, ooh, really close. Um, a lot of times when I read Brave and the Bold with Wade and uh, Perez, it feels weird. It feels like two great tastes that aren't going great together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought about the first, the whole Green Lantern Batman and all that. The iterations of that. There was so much busy artwork. It was yeah. like, it was like eating really rich food and you had to kind of stop every three pages and put it down. It so much, there was so much going on and the art was so rich. So it's kind of like, you know, you might really love lasagna and you might really love chocolate. Mm. But, yeah. 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 Chocolate. yeah. But this, this issue... Yeah, you could have like uh, a cookie layer and then a chocolate layer oh, and then nice. another layer and then another cookie layer. Like an ice cream cookie. Comic books. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, we'll we'll get you. We're very hungry. <laughs> But this issue, everything clicked. Uh, it was so great to see Wade do the Silver Age Doom Patrol. I loved his take on Rita. Mm -hmm. That, you know, because when, whenever you read the original, um, like Premiani and Arnold Drake uh, Doom Patrol, you get uh, all these characters are total freaks and misfits. And then you have the one woman who's a supermodel. What's the and, deal with it? Is the Silver Age Doom Patrol just hanging out in the DC Universe like regular? I have no idea how this works with continuity. I can't. I, I don't I understand. Think, I think they, as far as I remember, uh, Burn, after Burn's run, they essentially just rebooted it. Mm -hmm. They were like, oh, that never happened, but never talked about it. I think it was one of Superboy's punches, was like, oh, we're back to normal. Yeah. Oh, it's, gosh. It's so they're kind of just fist. that way now. Uh, and all the appearances, they also appeared in Teen Titans <laughs> a little bit, they're kind of the same way. Yeah. So it's, if, if you have any love of the original, you know, Premiani and uh, Arnold Drake Doom Patrol, it, this is odd. It's perfect. And Wade found the coolest bit to make Rita a freak. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it works really well. So I, I can't recommend this enough. Really There's cool. a cool point in here where it's the Flash's kids are like, uh, they have super high metabolism, so they're aging. And so they take the, he takes them to the Doom Patrol to help try to fix them. And it, the experiment goes poorly, and the, guy, the professor called her there is like, choose which kid you want to save. And he's like, ooh. Yeah, very <laughs> This is Sophie's choice moment. It was really neat. It was really <laughs> cool. And then he says, no, both, we'll say both. And then they do. And then later, he's like, oh, oh. he's talking to his wife. Yeah, we got to talk about something. <laughs> uh, and he's like, he's like, honey, I, I chose the whole time. Like, I said I didn't, but I think so fast, and I did choose in that time. And she's like, which one? He's like, I don't want to tell you this. And what's really nice is that Mark Wade comes up with a very Silver Age solution to the problem, which is very much in keeping the tenor of the new control. It's, it's, it's good. If you like Silver Age comics, it's in a modern day setting. Yeah, it's great. Great title. Pick it up. Uh, moving on, talking about the last, well, technically last, uh, World War Hulk tie-in issue of the Incredible Hulk. What do you guys think about this? Yeah. Uh, it was like, it was over for me. Let's go to Pittsburgh. Uh, it was <laughs> World War Hulk was over for me in the last thing, so this was kind of a little tough for me. To a little bit of an after smash. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it was tough to you know. Um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I wasn't that excited about it. Huh. Do you guys like Amadeus Cho? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. He's what, the fifth smartest guy? The fifth, and we're never telling you who the fourth smartest guy is. <laughs> That's the title. Yeah, I'm in there, right? Sure. Put me in there. See? Do you like Amadeus Cho? I love Amadeus well, um, Cho. I, I love Amadeus Cho as a character, but the fact is he beat out my characters in that amazing <laughs> Fantasy 15 contest. Blackjack. But, yeah, Blackjack. So I was like, I was so mad. I was so mad. I was like, Arr, all these people voting for Amadeus Cho to get his own book. No, he's really good. The pack writes him really great. Yeah. I like the book. I like the way they're going to turn Incredible Hulk into the Incredible Herc um, starting next issue. And it's going to be Hercules, Amadeus Cho, and a couple of the, of the other characters. I think it's a cool movie. They seem like an interesting little team up. Yeah. And kind of quirky. Kind of quirky. We had Greg Pack on the show, and he was saying that his, he loves the pairing. Of Hercules and Amadeus Cho, so it's kind of a, a dream project for. Oh, it's like remember that old cartoon uh, David and Goliath? Yeah. 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 What? <laughs> They're flirting. <laughs> he does his own thing. Um, 
You thought it was great pack for half an hour. Yes, the beard. Yeah. Um, it's like that, where you got the big strong guy and the smart kid. My friend Danny Wyatt was a dog. Huh? What's the one? <laughs> he had a motorbike, he had like a scooter. No, you're thinking Samson Goliath? Samson, yeah, yeah. Goliath yeah. was a lion. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Hair Bear Bunch, that's it. <laughs> ah, there it is. Invisible motorcycles, Hercules. Oh, man. <laughs> You're, are, are you, are you thinking about like Hercules where he walked around with Pip, the, the Saturn? Yeah. Nah, no, I'm thinking Hercules, the guy who had a motorbike, he had a little his... white motorbike. Yeah, and he had a dog that turned into a lion. That yeah. was it? Yeah. yeah. Was it? Well, he was like a, a you beast. You suck. Sandra <laughs> 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 Sheehan's great, though. <laughs> Don't walk into the geek cave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. Uh, next issue we're going to talk about is the latest issue of The Umbrella Academy, number three. Uh, this series is awesome. Yeah, Great. It's a lot of fun. Totally fantastic. It's so cool. If you guys like the Grant Morrison Doom Patrol, this is like it on steroids. This is so, it's such a good book. Yeah. No, not yet. I know. this? It's from the guy from uh, Chemical Romance. Yeah. Yep. Michael Green. Oh, <laughs> My Chemical Romance. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't There's one character called the rumor, and their superpower is if she says a rumor out loud, it's now truth. Yeah, and that's the best. That would be awesome. I hear that would be awesome. It is now. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's sort of like the <laughs> I hear Lindsay Lohan. It's really easy. We'll sleep with anyone. That's already true. Yeah. 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 See how that works? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, cameraman. Um, yeah, this is great. You know, I, I think it's like a lot of people try to imitate Grant Morrison, and this is not. It, it feels like Grant Morrison, but without feeling like a ripoff. Yeah, it's so it is, so its own thing. Like, who doesn't love Space Boy? He's great. The, the, yeah. the eight bosses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's just eight, well then. I, I, people always compare everything to Grant Morrison. That's really creative in the comics field. And I think that's. Uh, I mean, that's great for him. But I mean, it's just a really imaginative story. If, if you read Grant Morrison's Doom Patrol, it's like you get stuff like um, Red Jack and all the the Scissor Man. Yeah. And it's really good, really good, really good. Something happens, and it's like you're reading Grant Morrison's dream diary. Yeah, that's you're the like, problem I had with Grant Morrison. Is it goes crazy. <laughs> after like, oh, what's going on? And you kind of feel like the guy, like with the no soap radio. You're like, this is really good. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the problem I have with Grant Morrison. Right. Is. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, that's, that's why I like this better. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, everything but flows. So All the characters are really cool. I love like the old man, the little boy who's yeah. bored all the time. And yeah. There, there's a million great ideas in it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, so more comics should be like. Uh, yes. Uh, Written by rock stars and not comic books. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more of that, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. This guy walks into like a convention room. You want to kind of kill him a little bit? The <laughs> rock star and a comic. No, 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 no. It's it's like a lot of times when I read a really good comic, it'll make me go like, yeah, I want to go out and I want to write a really good comic now. Or then you read something by Neil Gaiman or Alan Moore, and you're like. <laughs> Never be this good. Or something. <laughs> 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 oh, no, so, but yeah, so like guys like this. I load, right? I totally. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bipolar. No, but no, but it's like stuff like this and Mark Wade. It make it and good and Grant Morrison. It energizes you. It makes you want to go out and hit harder and try better and gotta go. Uh, let's continue our own love fest by moving on and talking about the latest issue of Powers. Yeah. Uh, which was great, right, guys? Yeah, Fantastic. I haven't uh, bought this. Before. And I bought it on Wednesday. Wow, what a good story. Wow. <laughs> 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 I had some money, American money, right. in my pocket, and Don't. I traded it, dollar bills, yes. and I traded it for that comic book right there. <laughs> I uh, still have it. I for goods and services. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have it. Uh, what else was good about it? Uh, well, the artwork is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was a great use of like three words over and over, but it was, like each panel was like like it hit harder and really hit home. And I thought it was a great use of that instead of just being like we get it, we get it. it was I thought it was really cool. Uh, for those of you who aren't reading the title, there is a powers virus that's uh, essentially killing young girls. Is that well? There's a person killing young girls. right. There's a person killing young girls. Okay, somebody else. Don't. 